Everybody, this is Dan Marmasal and it's 10 o'clock, just about, and I'm about to take an 8 kilometer detour, so I can pick up coffee, decent coffee, for my trip back. Now, this is a thing you only do in a small town. <laughs> um, where I live, the most I would have to drive to get a decent coffee is a few blocks. So I am totally spoilt in that. Oh, I found a fine dining restaurant. Right. Um, <laughs> your idea of fine dining and mine apparently are very different. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, so... Um, had a good night. I managed to get two videos up last night and with the speed of the internet you know I did it by doing so much catnapping, waking up, doing the next bit, catnapping, waking up, doing the next bit and so it went on. Um, and before you all think oh gosh you know you're such an idiot for doing that you know that's how I sleep anyway. At my age, you know, my bladder wakes me up every couple of hours. <laughs> oh, it's not a big imposition in my life. Um, but I did manage to get them both up, which was great. Which hopefully will keep you guys busy. Uh, in case I'm too tired when I get back tonight. But quite honestly, you know, it's really weird. Um, after just 18 months of doing this, that vlogging has become such a big part of my day and it's not sort of like an imposition it is part of my day as much as um, you know sort of brushing my teeth or that sort of thing so don't think that I am being such a martyr on this, I'm not, it's, it's all part of, I get a lot of joy. I had a really nice comment from somebody whose name I cannot remember, um, but I will by the time I do the, it looks like a better restaurant, I mean better place to stay if I ever come back again. Um, anyway, I got this really nice comment from somebody and uh, You know, it's when I get these comments from people I've never heard of before, I love the comments from what I call the the um, super troopers, um, for those of you who are regulars. But every now and then I'll get a comment from somebody uh, who, I'm, who I don't recognize. And it's like, whoa. And to hear that they've been watching for the longest time, and to hear that they actually make watching or listening to my vlogs part of their routine, uh, always amazes me. I guess I'm just still too new at this in some ways to, to appreciate people doing that. But she was telling us um, that, and I say us because she did it publicly, um, that she actually puts the vlogs on when she has to do things like clean and stuff like that because she said it motivates her. There's something about my voice that motivates her and she's learning as she goes and, I, and how much she appreciates that and please would I never stop doing what I'm doing. Well, I got bad news for you. There is going to come a day when I'm going to stop doing it. It'll be because I'm not breathing anymore. <laughs> um, so I really wanted to thank you for that and, and for you to know that um, just one comment like that, you'll be amazed what it does. You know, I have days, as you can probably imagine, where I'm thinking, I wonder whether I'm just sitting here talking to myself.
and so it's it's just great to know that I'm not. All right, I'm passing all sorts of gas stations here. And I need to fill up with gas, but I want to get the coffee first. Where did I find the coffee? It was around here, wasn't it? You guys remember? Why do I think it was around here somewhere? Yes, it was. I tell you, it doesn't take long to learn your way around a small town, does it? Now, for those of you who live in small towns, please do not take this personally. Do you know how much trouble I would cause in a small town? I just got to remember that. And not because I would do anything untoward, it's just being who I am. I'm what they call a lightning rod. <laughs> um, I wonder if any of you know what I mean. I, I People either love me or hate me. And... Uh, <laughs> I've had it happen everywhere I go. And I think half the reason people don't like me is because of, yeah, I'm a doer. If I see something that needs to be done, I, I normally try and get it fixed. Some people don't like that anymore. Well, hello everybody. So now we've got coffee on the go. We've got a Danish breakfast, i.e. a Danish pastry, and <laughs> a Timmy's in my travel mug, and things are looking good. And it is a brilliant day. Uh, it's 15 degrees in Merritt, British Columbia, and if you were sitting in the north of Washington State, that would be around 59. American. We're about to take the road back to I'll try and go in the right direction this time, unlike yesterday. Uh, about to take the road back to Vancouver and you can really tell that this town has uh, is growing. And the reason that is because I found out that that grocery store I went to uh, yesterday um, was a new one. And, uh, you know, they hadn't had a big grocery store before, I believe. I could be wrong. I can't imagine that a town of this size wouldn't have a decent grocery store. But anyway, uh, so I'm sure it's doing a lot of good business there, which is always nice. Huh. I'm taking a triple look because there is um, an area there, excuse me a second, um, that looks like it's total sand. I suppose that's more than possible, isn't it? But I mean, beautiful sand-colored sand, not just dust in the... Huh. Anyway. Um, now this town that I'm just leaving used to have a huge music festival every year. Uh, sort of country and western type thing, which you know really suited its location and everything else, and I can't remember what happened that they stopped doing it. But I mean, it used to be a big event. People would come up and spend three or four days here getting blasted drunk, and uh, I'm sure the music could be heard for, you know, right the way down into the States. Um, <laughs> it was really a big thing. Um, no, I never did come to it. I know that's what you're wondering. No, can't say that I did. And I missed the opportunity to have that memory, I guess. I can live with it. I did enough bad things in my time. <laughs> and you know what I mean? It was just like... 
so I'm hoping that the drive home will be as uneventful as the drive there and just realized that there wasn't a toll booth on the way down, I mean up to here. So one of two things. Uh, either it is on this, it's only when you come down this way that there's a toll, uh, or they've taken it out. They've paid for the thing more than and uh, stop charging people. I can't imagine that happening. When you've got a cash cow like that, it would be very difficult to let go of the greed, wouldn't it? I would think. Mm, just my view. Um, and it is really, uh, you know, uh, one of those things where you didn't have any choice. If you wanted to travel this incredibly well bit built highway and I incredibly well built in as much as how much time it took off the trip um, then you pay 10 bucks for it so I'm not quite sure but we're gonna find out I'll let you know as we go along whether I actually found it and I'll probably take a picture of it for you they say there's gonna be a heat wave coming in here for the next three or four days and so I'm really glad to have missed it because you can already see how burnt I got uh, when the temperature was not that hot. And it was pleasantly burnt, not nastily burnt. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's a difference. One is that you got a touch of red because you weren't wearing any sunscreen, you silly shit. And then there's the other one, which is, hello, I'm a lobster and I'm going to... Know, be in excruciating pain every time I move for the next four days um, and I haven't got that I've just got the hello I'm a bit red thing but I am glad that I came and I'm very glad that I got a bit red because it's nice now I'm doing something that I know you're all gonna laugh at me about but I actually for the first time in all my life bought cut-off jeans. When I say cut-offs, you know, the sort of just below the knee type things. I have never, ever had them before. And I bought them to go on the trip with my brother because I thought the weather was going to be pleasant but not hot, which is what it was. Um, and therefore I didn't want to be in short shorts out here with my weight of the wood. Anyway, but I didn't want to be in short shorts, but I did want to be in cool shorts, so shoot the cool pants. So I did buy myself um, those three pairs of cutoffs, uh, a pink, you know, shocking pink pair, you know, because I knew Manon would ask me, so I had to have those once I saw them. Um, <laughs> and then um, I bought a black pair, and today I'm wearing a um, camel colored pair. And I have found them remarkably comfortable, which is why people obviously wear them. Now, the only thing is I bought them for my big, big size, and of course I've subsequently lost seven pounds, so they're already a bit flabby on me, but hey, give me that problem, right? I'm hoping that by next year I will have to throw them out because they possibly fall off me. unfortunate about that there was a dirty great semi crawling up this hill and it had its own private crawl up the hill in this lane and for no apparent reason they stopped the lane and so he came across into mine I didn't see that you'd think they'd have that slow lane all the way up the hill no not so much which goes to show I need to keep my eyes peeled So I can see nothing but trees as I look, well other than the highway, nothing but trees as far as you can see, left, right, everything. And as I was saying to somebody when I was answering the mail this morning, 
Uh, and you need to understand, I'm, I'm less than halfway up British Columbia. You know, it's, it, I'm not sort of way up north, and that's why they're solid forests. It's, I don't think British Columbia is going to run out of trees anytime soon. Let's put it that way. And we do do a great job of reforestation. I, I must say that, that um, we got very sticky on that quite a while ago. And um, it's delightful to see because you can see as you look in, you know, we got really hard hit with the, what was it called? Something or other beetle. Wow. Hmm. One day this year, I will remember that name. Um, <laughs> what was it called? Anyway, that beetle that killed off a lot of pine trees. And um, it, it really hit us quite hard. But the good news is we appear to have um, had enough growth that it didn't decimate the the growth and it appears that the trees are doing quite a good job of seeding themselves if you know what I mean and when I was in the gas station there was a truck that rolled in and it had all sorts of gizmos on it front and back, and apparently it was a road analyzing machine. How many of you are going, that would be fun, for about half a day, um, to go right down the road and drive with all these gizmos, analyzing, you know, how much the tarmac is wearing down, and I guess, um, I don't know how many cracks there are. I don't know what it did, but it looked like quite a supersonic sort of machine. You know, you got a feeling it was more high-tech than low. Although I'm certain there was some low-tech about it. You know, I must also remember that I am doing this drive in summer. I would imagine doing this drive in, well, some days in winter you can't do it. They actually close the highway down, especially to the big trucks, because you know you really are going up and over uh, some pretty big places. I'm sort of hesitating to say mountains because they look like mountains to me, but they may be considered dirty great hills. I think they're. They're part of a mountainous group, coastal mountain. Well, they can't be coastal mountains here. Anyway, but really, you can see that the rock here has been around a while. Let's put it that way. I think there's something about British Columbia that you can't describe to people. You just got to sort of see it. I got to admit, when I first came here. Uh, my then husband took me on a sort of tour and I wasn't quite in the same space that I'm in now and I can remember thinking, you know, just how many trees can you see? Whereas today I can drive it and just be awed by its magnificence rather than, okay, so it's trees. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, and I was a little bit, um, yeah strange like that, I guess. But I'm not a lot more appreciative of it today. And one of the good things about this road is that it actually isn't very straight. It's bending almost all the time, so you have to sort of stay with it. I think if this road was straight, you'd fall asleep because of the fact that the scenery is almost identical 
for much of the way. And so that wouldn't be enough to keep you, um, I mean, identical in as much as it's, you know, yet another picture postcard. And uh, so the fact that the road is doing so much uh, up and down and then winding almost the whole way is, is a good thing, I think. Probably cost them a lot more money because of that, but... And I'm sure they had it windy because they had to, not because they wanted to. So I just realized, because I'm sniffing, which is disgusting, um, that I didn't take any antihistamine this morning, which perhaps I should have done. I've been doing that the last couple of mornings, so I've obviously still got a bit of this cold going on. But I'm very happy that I'm very fine, thank you. Wow, that's a good view. Anyway, um, that's seriously, that's a good view. about the coffee cup. And now we're of course going downhill. Okay, I'll wait until we get back. Really pretty. Hang on. Okay, so, owing to the fact I got rather a lot of that ahead of me, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop broadcasting for a while, drink my coffee, have my breakfast, and uh, I'll catch up with you whoops, when we get back into what I call regular territory. Or we get to the pay toll booth thing. Things I've spoken about it so much. Okay, bye bye for now.